In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the downstream O2 sensor on this Ford Escape. Let's get into it. Take the wiper arms off, just use a pick. We'll take this little cover off on the side. Just get underneath there, pop that cover off. Using a 15 millimeter socket, take this nut off. Grab the arm, you just want to rock it back and forth, get it to separate. Slide that off out of the way. Do the same on the other side. Now we're going to take these clips off. Just use a pick, get underneath the clip. These ones over here have a, like an extra clip. Get underneath there, pop those out. And grab this cowl and just lift up. There you go. It's just clipped in underneath. Those clips just push down. Using a T25 socket, we're going to take these two screws out. And that's just going to sit right there. Using a 8mm socket, take these screws out. loose then do the same on the other side. Now grab this panel and it pulls right out. Remove the engine cover just underneath. Just grab and pull up. Just some grommets holding it in. Loosen up this worm clamp right here. I'm going to use a seven millimeter socket. Using an eight millimeter socket, loosen up this worm clamp. That's good. Disconnect this hose. There's a tab on the top and a tab on the bottom. Just squeeze those. You can release it. Just slide that off. There's one bolt right here. Take that bolt out, use an eight millimeter socket. Grab this snorkel and it comes right off. On the back, there's a pipe right here. You just want to squeeze the tabs to release it. And that comes off. You just squeeze right there and that separates. Remove this bolt, use an eight millimeter socket. Remove this tab, use a 12 millimeter socket. It's just plastic. Take that out. Now we're gonna use a seven millimeter socket, loosen up this worm clamp down here.
Right, that's good. It's loose. Grab this snorkel. Wiggle it and slide it out. I'll take this hose off. Just pinch these two. Just like that. Slide that out of the way. You disconnect the connector right here. Just push on the tab. And we'll slide that off. If you need to, you can pull it out of the retainer. Slide that off. All right. Underneath, we're going to take this bar down, use a 15 millimeter socket. Take these nuts off. And take these bolts out. Same 15 millimeter socket. Slide that bar down. I'm going to use a O2 sensor socket. It's a 22 millimeter socket with a slice in it to get over the wire. Get over the wire. Pull the wire down. Maybe caught on some retainers. And just twist it. Alright, there it is. And just twist it right out. There you go. I'll take the O2 sensor. Slide that up and get that started by hand. Just twisting the wires. All right, that's all the way down. Now I'll snug it. Put the O2 sensor socket on. A little bit tricky to get to but if you can get a torque wrench in there you want to torque that to 35 foot pounds now we're going to push that wire up so it's on the other side so we can grab it from up top now we'll slide this bracket in place get the, get the nuts and bolts started Tighten these down. And reach down and grab the wire for the O2 sensor. And here's the connector. Just connect the connector. Lock that down. And you can slide it on the retainer. 
we go. If there's any other retainers you need to slide the wires into, just push those back in place. There we go. Take the upstream O2 sensor, get that lined up. Started by hand. All right, now put the socket on. The O2 sensor socket over the wire. Tighten that down. I'm going to torque that to 35 foot pounds. All right, that's good. Take off the socket. Grab the wire and bring it up to the connector. I'll connect the connector, line it up, and with the push pins on the connector, slide that into the bracket. There we go. That's good. And take the hose and slide that in place. Now take this pipe and slide it down. Get this lined up here. Take this tab and the bolt and we'll tighten those down. Snug that down and snug that one down. And I'll tighten that worm clamp. All right, tighten that down. And I'll put this pipe on, get that lined up, lock that down. Now take this pipe. Slide that in place. Connect this pipe to that pipe. That's good. And take this screw. Get that started. Now tighten that down. I'll tighten up this worm clamp. Snug. I'm going to tighten down this worm clamp. Just snug. That's good. Take the engine cover, line it up, and lock it down. I'll take the shield. Line it up. Good, and take these bolts, get those started. And we can tighten those down. Snug, that's good. Do the same on this side. Snug that down. And put these two screws in. Hold the reservoir up, get that lined up. Tighten those down. That's good. And take this panel, slide it in place. Put these clips in.
I'll put the wiper arms on. Make sure they're in the same place on the windshield when you took them off. Put the nuts on. Tighten those down. Then you'll put the cap on. Do the same on the other side. Snug those down, put the cap on. And you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.